how can we do some good while we're out there running errands and doing things like grocery shopping? Author, blogger, Laura Wells McKnight is here with us this morning. She's back on Better Kansas City. Back, yes. We were talking about a couple of weeks ago, how to donate money and, and basically do good while we're on vacation. Right. Now we're right. talking about doing good while we're just running errands. Yeah, you can do that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people always ask, okay, so does that giving at the cash register really make a difference? And does anybody even do that? A lot of people do that. Uh, so total giving in the United States last year, the numbers are just out. It's like $375 billion. Uh, it's, so that's just, it's unbelievable. It's astounding. And so that's, it's up 4%. But so the question is, okay, so how much of that is actually done at the cash register? Right. Almost 400 million. So that is a lot. That's four, 400 million about, dollars that people are, when, even so when, when you're just at Target a, and they're like, hey, do you want to give a dollar, a dollar to yeah. X cause? Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot. So that, uh, that keeps increasing. And um, the other question people ask is, okay, does anybody really do that? And yeah, 72% right. of Americans at, at one point or another have actually given at the cash register. Here's my question. You know, if you don't love the cause, and sometimes if it's a cause that I recognize, I will. I'll give a dollar or sure. 50 cents or whatever it is, or sometimes you get to write your name on a thing at a gas station yeah. and they tape it up, you know? Yeah. Um, but how do we know where the money is actually going? Yeah, well, and that's the, one of the main reasons that people don't give at the cash register, because they aren't familiar with the cause. Right. So when people are asked, okay, why didn't you give at the cash register, 44% of them will tell you, I just didn't know anything about the cause. And I think that's good to reinforce that if you don't know about the cause, or you don't like the cause, or it's not your thing, don't give to it. There's right. nothing wrong with saying no. What, uh, it seems like there's a season, is that, is that seasonal? It seems like sometimes I'll go into, you know, it's, it happens everywhere, CVS, the grocery store, yeah. or Target, or Costco, or whatever. And sometimes it's happening and sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. You're yeah. very observant because retailers, like anybody else, um, are doing campaigns. Right. So a lot of times retailers will enter into agreements with nonprofit organizations and they will target a certain time, certain couple of weeks, certain month to do the most fundraising. Do the retailers get any of that money? No, they, they don't. don't. No, but they get a little uptick in their brand because... Um, 91% of consumers actually want to do business and, and go to stores that are giving back. So stores know that it helps them. Laura, you've always got the numbers. You've I always know, got the numbers. So interesting, you said a minute Stats. ago, 72% of Americans uh -huh. have, have yep. I don't like to say yep. fallen for, but sometimes no, no, no. they, they pressure true. you sometimes. They you know, do. When you feel bad. If somebody's in line behind mm -hmm. you and you don't, you, you kind of feel like, oh, they're looking at you like, you don't want to give a dollar? Well. But there are, no, and I know that leads you to the next one. So brands yes. like Tom's Shoes, for example, yeah. you could buy from companies that are actively giving to charity, right? Yeah, and that's another way to do good. So, you know, you may not want to give the dollar at the cash register, but you can buy products that are giving back like Tom's Shoes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people don't actually don't feel good about uh, giving at the cash register. Only 65% of the people who do it said that they liked it, that they right. enjoyed the experience. So you got to do what makes you feel good. We have literally like 15 seconds, but I did want to cover this social impact culture type. Yes, that's key. What is that? That is the way you like to do good. So if it may not be your thing to give money. Maybe your social impact culture type, your personality type when it comes to doing good is something else. Maybe you like to volunteer, right. recycle. It's all up to you. So there are other ways to give without spending Plenty money. Plenty of other ways to give without spending money. All right, Laura, you great got seeing it. you. Thank good you so much. You. Alexis. 